Hello guys, uh, my name is Shanwaz Ahmed and today I'll show you how to use configurations in SOLIDWORKS. Configurations are of much use in SOLIDWORKS as we can use uh, to make the springs, uh, to see the expansion and to see the compression of the springs. One of my friends also told me to make a video for this and so that's why I'm using this. Okay, so for this we are making a simple spring and we'll see that how it can expand and how it can contract with the use of configurations. But uh, this time we are not making the springs with the help of helix and spiral but we will make with the help of sweep uh, with the uh, options in sweep. So for this what we have to uh, do we just have to create a circle over here and give the dimension of the circle like suppose my dimension is 10. Now I will give a distance from uh, the center point of the circle to the center point of this let us suppose to be 60 <clears throat> now uh, let me keep this as horizontal so that it is constrained now next thing is i have to create a center point or center line or whatever you want to say okay now the dimension of this is also important i'm keeping this as 200 now I'm having two sketches and I'm ready for the sweep. I'll go to the sweep and uh, simply select my sketches. These are my two sketches. In the options, I'll go to the options and uh, select the twist along path. And in this defined by the number of turns. And here the number of turns, maybe I'm using it as 50. See, it is so thick. So for good viewing, you can use it as 10. So that we are able to see it very properly now as you can see the spring has been formed if you want we can add the material also it will look good i'm going and i'm just giving as steel okay now the material also being here now the next thing is i will just add the configurations now you see when the spring will expand or it will contract then only one dimension that is the length of the spring will change nothing else will change so for this purpose what we will do we will just simply go to the sweep mode and uh, give the configurations from here but before that what you will do we will just change the dimensions name because see this is 200 this is the length of the spring so i'm just going here instead of d1 i'll just put it as length so that we are able to identify it very easily now what i'll do i'll just simply go to the sweep right click the sweep and go to the configure feature now which feature i just want to configure i want to configure the length so i'll double click my spring after that i'll double click my length it is now here now this creates a new configuration like suppose for example I just want to see the expanded mode or I want to see the compression mode. So for expansion, what I can do, I can just simply write here expansion or extended whatever and the expansion is you can say 300. Okay, now here compression and for compression also, I'll just simply make it as 150 or whatever you want simply apply it make it okay now you can see that everything is being saved and whatever now come to the configuration manager you can see default compression and expansion all the three things are here default is this one if i go to the compression mode double click this it will be compressed like this if i go to the expansion mode Double click this this will be expanded so in this case what you can see the same spring is being expanded and the same spring is being compressed here and uh, in this way we can use uh, the configurations in SOLIDWORKS the number of turns remains the same only the length is being changed because we have used the length as the configuration that was to be changed so in this way we can just use the configurations in SOLIDWORKS. Hope guys uh, you have understood the uh, configurations and uh, uh, please subscribe my channel if you want uh, some further videos regarding SOLIDWORKS, CATIA or any other thing you can just simply subscribe and uh, uh, watch for the new videos. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. For